So growing up, one of my favorite books was The Hunchback of Notre Dame. And there's a famous story about how the author Victor Hugo essentially wrote the novel to help save Notre Dame Cathedral, which at that time had been crumbling from neglect and vandalism over the centuries. Mr. Hugo felt that if he depicted an exciting story set in and around Notre Dame, that he could inspire the citizens of Paris to rise up and protect their Gothic heritage. He said famously to the press when he released the book, a universal cry must finally go out to call the new France to the aid of the old. And like Mr. Hugo, it so happens that I had a very similar approach in writing Siciliano. Before I'm an author, I consider myself a conservationist. I have a deep passion for conserving history, culture, environment. I'm an active supporter and advocate of organizations like UNESCO and the World Wildlife Fund. And I wanted to incorporate that mission of conservation into the book as a sort of secondary mission. UNESCO is a program run by the UN that protects ancient heritage sites around the world against war, vandalism, destruction, and in Sicily there are actually about seven of them. For example, in the city of Palermo, um, Palermo Cathedral is the famous Norman-built cathedral that towers over the city's main streets. And many of the scenes in Siciliana are set against these real locations, so you can actually go there. You can walk around where the characters walked. You can see where the battles were fought. I wanted readers to be able to read the book and then go to Sicily and actually experience these places for real. And you can say, oh, this is the cathedral where Etna held her rally, or this is the slope on Mount Etna Volcano where the Sicilians fought the French. I wanted to help give readers a sense of appreciation that these places actually exist and that you can still visit them today and hopefully help conserve them for future years to come. These are actual photos from my sister Andrea that she took uh, on her trip to Sicily this past summer. I mean, what a perfect thing to do, to go to Sicily while reading Siciliana, while you're, while you're actually there in the land. And she took pictures in front of the actual locations where the story takes place. You'll see here Palermo Cathedral, the slopes of Mount Etna, and even the Taormina Greek Theater, which is where the third act climax of the novel takes place. So in Taormina, in Taormina there's a big battle scene where the people essentially follow the example of Palermo and rise up against their oppressors as well. And on the environment side, the World Wildlife Fund has a program in Sicily that protects their native birds of prey on the island. And that program is called Life Conrasi. And it focuses on these three raptors that are shown here. And as such, I decided to incorporate eagles and eagle symbolism into the book in various ways. I mean, there are quite a few plot Easter eggs that I won't get into here, but if I've done my job right, the reader should come away from Siciliana with a majestic and vivid portrait of eagles and eagles in Sicily. So these two missions, historical preservation and environmentalism, collide in a character in Siciliana known as Don Rapaci. So Don Rapaci is a mysterious knight who works in the shadowy streets of Palermo to essentially terrorize and assassinate unsuspecting Angevin soldiers. As a self-appointed vigilante and protector, he's made it his life mission to protect Sicily's culture against the French, who are desecrating and outlawing their traditions and way of life. He lives in a hidden cave on Monte Pellegrino, where he stores banned Sicilian artifacts like tapestries and marionettes. And he also practices falconry which, with his majestic companion, the, the Sicilian golden eagle named Rosalia. And I was not so subtle in, naming, in the naming of this character. Don, of course, is the Sicilian title for lord or master, and Ropaci is Sicilian for raptor, the master raptor, so to speak. So it goes without saying that Don Ropaci might actually be my favorite character in the book. And if Etna, the Siciliana, represents my sister's spirit, I like to think that Don Ropaci represents myself.